planning. As you know, one of the most important part in video creation. But there is also another word called as pre-planning, also known as plan in advance. Might be one of the things that I would highly recommend to the people who wants to make a video here on YouTube, or not only on YouTube, in any other social medias generally. You can have a ridiculous video idea in your mind that you want to upload to YouTube. But without a proper pre-planning, that video idea might be difficult to you to create, even though you are the one who plans to make a video about it. But still, it depends on how complicated your idea is. Let's say you start making a video without pre-planning. Things might be smooth for a while, but as it goes, you might stuck somewhere. Maybe by things went wrong or you don't know what are you exactly heading towards. This is the main purpose of pre-planning. I would say this is a huge time saver. YouTube video. When most people watch a video here on YouTube, people think that creating a video is just very easy, but they didn't know how much work goes back into it. So now what I'm meaning by pre-planning is basically preparing a script for your videos or maybe creating a short list, which would be really, really helpful for you guys. So now let's start with scripting. I just started doing scripts for my videos starting from this year. Before this, I will just write down the bullet points on what I'm going to talk. But since I started doing scripts for my videos, I just feel so confident in front of camera because now I have a clear vision on what I'm going to talk to you guys. So before a couple of videos, you guys also might notice there will be a lot of ums and ums in the video, which might lead you guys to think I don't have any idea on what I'm talking. We all don't want that, right? I mean, I'm not asking you guys to do a script right now. If you feel like you can actually convey that particular information you're going to convey just by doing bullet points, go ahead. Scripting could also reduce the time of we spending in front of the computer, editing the videos. So if we never prepare a script for our videos, there will be a lot of jump cuts in our videos, which caused by the ums and arms. Most people don't like the jump cuts, right? And not only that, scripting will also help you to interact more better with your audience. So let's say I'm going to make a video about history of Galileo Galilei, just for an example. So if I want to make a video about him, I need to research first, right? I need to research where he born and what he was doing and stuff like this. We don't want to just press the record button in our camera and just sit like this and talk, right? But yeah, I did some research for these videos. No one wants to research when the time we are recording the video, right? When scripting, I would also highly recommend to you to highlight the part which you want to add b-rolls. So now you can record the b-rolls according to the script rather than just recording some random stuff. So making a script for your videos is a really good thing, but at the same time you also cannot make the viewers feel like you are actually reading a script. So when I'm recording a video like this, I will just keep my phone in my lap and I will just read sentence by sentence and I will just convey it to the camera. But still, I would not suggest you to read everything from the script since it's going to look more robotic. So now you guys might be asking, where do I need to write my script? When I'm getting started with scripting, I use Google Docs, it's a really good website to write down all your script. But around 10 months back, I get to know this app called Notion. I've already explained briefly about Notion in my What's on my Mac video, which you guys could click at here somewhere and watch that video. So now I'm using Notion to script my videos. Another thing that I like about Notion is that it will automatically sync with your phone. So I can also view what I have done in my computer in my phone. I mean, Google Docs could also sync with your phone. But still, I feel like Notion has more features than Google Docs. But still, it all depends on what are you comfortable with. Scripting will also help you to convey your information without forgetting it. I mean, I'm not telling creating a bullet point is not effective as creating a script. It's also really good. Creating a bullet point could also help you with this kind of things. But still, it all depends on what kind of content are you making. If your content is more story driven or maybe videos like this, then scripting will be more effective than creating bullet points. Scripting will also help you to explain that particular topic more clearly since you also can do some research along the way you're scripting. So I hope after this no one of you guys would hesitate to script your videos. Lastly, after I done this script, I will read the script over and over, at least for 3 times. So this entire scripting process will took me around 2-3 to three hours. It seems to be a lot but still, I think it's totally worth it again. By this, I can make sure is there anything that I want to add in the video or maybe I can also make sure is there any spelling errors. Because you see, even though you know that particular sentence or that particular word represent this particular word, um, at the end of the day when you're doing videos like this, you'll be really confused. I also have this mindset where scripting just takes a lot of time and I think it's not worth it. But definitely now my perspective on scripting my videos has changed. So now let's go to the next point. I will mostly prepare a short list for my b-roll. So for example, if I want to add some b-rolls right now, then I could just script it at there. I will start with write down the sentence which I had to shoot the b-roll and I will just write down as detailed as possible. So for example, I will also add the camera angle, the place where I had to shoot the b-roll and also the camera movement. Especially this tip would be really helpful if you are just recording the b-rolls and giving a voiceover. I am also using Notion to plan my short list. When making a short list, make sure it was as detailed as possible so that you don't need to scratch your head at the end of the day. 
Not only this, there is a lot of things goes into this pre planning process. So I just explained briefly about this in this particular video. So hope you guys find something useful from this video. I'll be meeting you guys in the next video. Bye.